Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Mahanti and in this video we will solve this question. Uh, this question is based on the concept of electrostatic potential energy of a charge system. The question is on the screen, so let's get started. The question is uh, determine the electrostatic potential energy of a system consisting of two charges 7 microcoulomb and minus 2 microcoulomb and with no external field placed at minus 9 centimeter 0 0 and plus 9 centimeter 0 0 respectively. So it is given that uh, we have two charges uh, Q1 is equal to uh, how much Q1 equal to 7 microcoulomb and uh, Q2 is equal to minus 2 microcoulomb and uh, the position of the two charges are also given it is given that uh, the charge Q1 is located at uh, the position minus 9 centimeter 0 0 and uh, the second charge Q2 is located at uh, position 9 centimeter 0 0. So you can see that the Y coordinate is, and the Z coordinates are 0. It means the two charge particles are present on the X axis. So let me draw the X axis here. This is the X axis and the suppose this is the origin origin means the coordinates will be 0 0 0 and uh, suppose uh, this point a has coordinate uh, minus 9 cm 0 0 and uh, the point b has coordinates uh, plus 9 centimeter 0 0 at uh, the point a we have a charge of 7 microcoulomb and at the point b we have a charge of minus 2 microcoulomb we have to find uh, the electrostatic potential energy of this charge system and it is given that there is no external electric field. So students we know that uh, in the absence of any external electric field or external electric potential the potential energy of a two charge system is given by the formula u equal to uh, k into q1 q2 by r. So let us calculate uh, the energy here u equal to what is k, k is uh, 9 into 10 to the power 9 and uh, what is q1, q1 is 7 microcoulomb and what is q2, q2 is minus 2 microcoulomb. So remember that when you are finding the potential energy you have to also mention the sign of the charge and uh, r means the distance between the two charges. So uh, the distance or the length of AB is 18 centimeter. So you can write 18 centimeters here. In the next step, we will convert all the quantities to SI unit. Uh, so the energy U will be how much? It will be 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 7 microcoulomb means 7 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb into uh, we have minus 2 microcoulomb. So that will be minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb divided by the distance is 18 centimeters. So 18 centimeter is equal to 18 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. So uh, here uh, 9 and 18 will cancel. You will get uh, 2 here. This 2 and 2 will also cancel. So you will get uh, u equal to uh, minus 7 into 10 to the power. Here we have 10 to the power 9. Uh, here we have 10 to the power minus 6 into 10 to the power minus 6. So it will be. 10 to the power 9 into 10 to the power minus 12 and here we have 10 to the power minus 2 if it goes to the numerator it will become 10 to the power plus 2 that implies u equal to minus 7 into 10 to the power minus 1 or that is equal to minus 0 0.7 joule so we got that uh, the potential energy of the two charge system is minus 0 0.7 joule the negative uh, energy indicates that uh, the two charges have opposite sign means there is an attractive force between them. Now look at the second bit. Uh, the second bit is uh, how much work is required to separate the two charges infinitely away from each other. So when uh, the two charges uh, are at a distance of 18 centimeter from each other, the energy between them is minus 0 0.7 joule. Now in the second bit, uh, the question is uh, if we uh, separate the two charges and uh, take them uh, to infinite distance from each other then what amount of work should be done. So students uh, remember that when uh, the distance r equal to 18 centimeter uh, the initial 
potential energy was minus 0.7 joule and when uh, i will take them uh, to infinite distance from each other means the distance between them will become infinite so the energy between them will be zero because at infinite distances there is no interaction between the two charges so there will be no potential energy between them so uf will be zero now what is work done work done is equal to the change in the potential energy so w equal to uf minus ui so uf is zero minus ui is minus 0 0.7 joule so that is equal to plus 0 0.7 joule it means i have to do uh, 0 0.7 joule of work in order to separate uh, the two charges and to take them uh, to infinite uh, distance from each other now look at the third bit uh, the question is suppose the same system of charges is now placed in an external electric field uh, given by this expression e equal to a uh, whole into 1 by r square where a is a constant uh, the value is given a equal to 9 into 10 to the power 5 coulomb per meter square what would be the electrostatic energy of the configuration b so in the first uh, two bits uh, there was no external electric field or there was no external electric potential but in the third bit we have to consider that the two charges are placed inside an external electric field so the external electric field is given by e equal to a by r square and the value of a is given that is 9 into 10 to the power 5 uh, coulomb per meter square so students we know that if uh, we have uh, two charges let us say q1 and q2 uh, separated by a distance r if they are placed inside an external electric field or external electric potential and if v1 is the potential at uh, point a and v2 is the potential at the point b then the total potential energy of the two charge system is given by e equal to q1 v1 plus q2 v2 plus k q1 q2 by r so we have already uh, calculated the value of this third term k q1 q2 by r uh, and the value is minus 0 0.7 joule we have to only find uh, q1 v1 and q2 v2 and then if i uh, add the all the three values i will get the total energy of the system now uh, from this electric field expression we have to find uh, the dependence of potential on the uh, position so we know that e equal to minus dv by dr uh, that implies that dv equal to uh, minus e dr so if i integrate both side then i can write that uh, in place of e i can write uh, a by r square into dr now let us integrate uh, this quantity so integration of dv will be v uh, and uh, that is equal to uh, this a is constant you can take it outside so we'll get uh, r to the power minus 2 dr that implies v equal to minus a uh, it will be r to the power minus 2 plus 1 uh, by minus 2 plus 1 and uh, that implies v equal to this minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 so minus 1 and minus a there will be plus a and r to the power minus 2 plus 1 means r to the power minus 1 r to the power minus 1 is same as 1 by r so we'll get v equal to a by r so uh, you can see that the, the electric potential is also a function of the position so now after getting the dependence of uh, potential on uh, the position now we will uh, uh, derive or we will write uh, or calculate uh, the value of the potential energy of the charge system so uh, u is equal to q1 into v1 uh, so uh, you know that uh, the coordinates of q1 is minus 9 uh, cm 0 0 and the coordinates of uh, q2 is plus 9 0 0 and uh, uh, this is the center uh, or we can say that this is the origin which is uh, uh, 0 0 0 so uh, this q1 is 7 micro coulomb uh, so you can write uh, 7 into 10 to the power minus 6 uh, and in place of v1 we can write a by uh, r1 r1 means the distance of uh, the point a uh, from the origin which is 9 centimeter so we can write 9 centimeter here 
then uh, q2 is minus 2 micro coulomb so write minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 and v2 is a by r2 r2 means the distance of uh, q2 from the origin which is again 9 centimeter and the third term is uh, minus 0 0.7 joule which we have already calculated so that is equal to 7 into 10 to the power minus 6 into a is 9 into 10 to the power 5 uh, divided by 9 centimeter means 9 into uh, 10 to the power minus 2 uh, then we have this minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 into a is 9 into 10 to the power 5 divided by 9 into 10 to the power minus 2 and the third term is minus 0 0.7 joule so here you can see that 9 uh, 9 will cancel uh, so we'll get uh, 7 into 10 to the power how much minus 6 uh, plus 5 plus 2 means uh, 10 to the power 1 then minus 2 into 10 to the power again here 9 9 will cancel you'll get uh, 10 to the power 1 minus 0 0.7 so we'll get 70 minus 20 uh, then minus 0 0.7 that is equal to 50 minus 0 0.7 or the answer will be 49.3 joule. So, in the presence of external electric field, the potential energy of the system is found to be 49.3 joule and in the absence, the energy is minus 0 0.7 joule. So, students, that's all, uh, that's, that's all the procedure how uh, you can solve this question. Hopefully, you have understood uh, this process and if you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. I'll again meet you in the next class. Till then, have a nice day and bye-bye.